Uh, hi there. Today I'm testing out Arch Merge uh, from a live USB install. Uh, just to give you a, a demo of this operating system and showing you my my ways of configuration. Uh, of course, you can configure it any way you want, but this is uh, XFCE, and uh, which gives you the opportunity to um, make it any way you want. Basically, uh, tweak the uh, the uh, GUI interface the way you like. So, um, what I was going to show here is basically I'll move the um, bottom panel to the left and the dock here I'm going to put towards the bottom. And to do that, let's first basically you hit the control key, right click on the panel, left click preferences. Then we want to Notice it says left here. We're going to click on that for at the moment. I'm going to put it at the top. Close that out. Now I can move this, the bottom panel, towards the far left where I prefer to have it. And so here you would just right click on the panel, left click preferences. Notice it says horizontal. The panel's locked. You want to unlock the panel. And we want it to go vertical. So now it's on the left. And from here, I'm clicking on the row size. And then I'm using my arrow keys here on the keyboard. And I'm going to take it up to, oh, uh, we'll say 50. If you, you know, you, however way you want it, but I, I'm just customizing it right now uh, in that uh, fashion. And then, um, I'm going to have to revert these panel items uh, in reverse here, and I'll show you that right now. So then um, you want to click on, let's see, items, and then we re basically reverse most of these. So I'm going to take the whisker menu and then just bring it down to the bottom. And then just basically do this almost with everything. Uh, the Windows buttons you want to bring down. Um, let's see what else. Or, uh, notification, we want to bring that up. And the clock, well, I'll experiment with this. The clock, if it doesn't allow you to change the, um, even see the text of the number, it's, it's in a uh, uh, vertical fashion. Um, you can do it horizontally, I believe here, but I'll, I'll just experiment. If you just spare, uh, bear with me here. Um, let's see, notification, bring that up further. We'll leave this separator there. Workspace switcher. I'm not going to use a work workspace switcher, so I'm going to remove it. I don't need it for my needs. You you may need it, uh, but I, I don't want it. So, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to edit it first. I don't know whether this matters, but uh, I want to uncheck that. That uh, prevents the mouse wheel from changing workspaces. But I am going to remove it because I don't use the the uh, workspace switcher. Um, and now I'm going to basically delete it. So click remove, and it asks if you are you sure. And you can you can always replace it if you want. The uh, pulse audio we want to bring that up to the top. And we're almost there. Now, notice you have the title of Arch Merch here, and I don't want that either. So, um, because I'm just trying to utilize the space as best I can, and you, you have the icon here, and that's all you really need. That's your start menu. So, um, you would click on the uh, whisker menu, and this is your edit here. You've got, you know, you have add, remove, edit and this would show you information additional information although i'm not going to click on it right now so click edit and then what we want is just the icon so i'm switching that to icon now as you can see you just have the icon there and uh, while i'm in here i'm going to this allows you to uh, view your menu um here as you here i'll click on it as you see it here, I'm just going to uh, increase the 
the uh, size of these icons a little bit. And you can do that right here by clicking normal and then just one step larger, small. And let's see, is there anything else I want to do here right now? No, this looks pretty good. Everything is engaged the way I like it for now. And oh, there's one other thing. Notice how the panel, you have my simple screen recorder and the panel open. These two items are open. We want to change the look of this. So that's your window button. You also have to edit that. And then you need to, uh, we don't want to show button labels. So you uncheck that and it puts, it configures it into separate little buttons, which is easier with this uh, panel being on the left. So um, that's what I do there. Click close. Um, actually, I want to do, I want to see if I can manipulate that clock. I'm going to try to edit it in a different way. Let's see, digital, uh, well, analog. In this fashion, it might be best to just keep it analog because if, if you try to do, uh, let's, let me see what else. If I do LCD, there you go. You could do LCD that way. That works pretty well too. And then you change the format from 12 o'clock. Just make sure you, for aesthetics, uh, flash time separators, um, that'll work just like that. So I'm just showing you a quick way to revert the panel, change the, uh, the uh, structure of it, or basically reversing it, uh, close that. Um, this, then this is your dock or docky. So we're going to try hit control, right click in between the icons, just so you're touching the panel and go back to preferences, uh, click on this. Uh, I'm sorry, click here. Now we're going to go to the bottom. And now you've got your panel there and say you don't like this, these particular icons. Personally, I, I don't like them. They, I find them harder to discern what, what they are, especially in, in a, uh, uh, what, do you, what, what do you call it? Black and white or monochrome chromatic. Uh, I think that's the term look. I want to be able to see color. So we're going to change that right now. The theme, um, let's see what default is now. Let's try something else. I'll probably have to make several changes for this to look different. Um, one is let's just go with uh, transparent. Eh. Let's try that one. No, I don't like that either. Let's first change some other things and come back to this. So I'm going to close this out. Let's change the wallpaper first. So right click on the panel, left click, left click desktop settings wait for the um, uh, various uh, photos to populate here and then choose something uh, whatever it is to your liking we're going to put some color in this so i'm going to cho cho choose the yosemite here um, close that so now you've got that wallpaper and now we're going to go into the menu left click um, uh, over here you have all settings click on that Go into appearance and oh, let's, we want to go with a dark theme or maintain a dark theme. Let's try. Uh, I, I kind of like the uh, breeze still because breeze is, is a clean look. So let's do breeze dark with the style of you can do arch. Uh, well, let me see what these other ones, arch dark. Let's just do arch dark with the icons of surf and breeze dark. Uh, and larger fonts is usually a better bet, especially for people with uh, that use glasses. Uh, I still think it looks better to enlarge it. So I'm going to go with 12 and that increases everything that you're seeing. And there's one other setting as well. Let me see if I can remember where to go next. Um, left click. Now you'll notice this is looking a lot different. You have color icons. They're larger. The text is larger. To me, it's easier to see what you're actually clicking on. I, I want to be able to differentiate what I actually see. And you, I can't discern by the uh, default icons at all. And that's why I've made the change. 
Um, and let's see what else. The, there, there may be another setting. This is just a quick uh, demo of changing Arch Merge uh, cosmetically uh, at the get-go. Uh, normally you would do this after your install, but I wanted to sh briefly show you. Let's at least change this um, docky to a, a different... Um, now that we had changed the icons, you should be able to change the theme better um, or to, for it to show a, a noticeable difference. Um, let's see, trans panel, that's not bad. Let's go with that for now. And then if you, whatever item is, is enabled, it'll be, you'll see a little tiny dot um, to tell you that the, the item is actually engaged. And actually it even highlights it here as I'm showing you now. So uh, depending on what theme you use in Docky is how it'll render here on, the, on your desktop. And um, that's it for now. Just thought I'd show you a quick review and um, good luck with uh, playing with Linux. It's fun and uh, never ending and, and exploring, uh, exploring what Linux has to offer. Thanks for watching.